Hello ladies and gentlemen, just going to give you a quick kind of rundown on how to get multi-MC and Pixelmon for our Pixelmon server. So first you're going to search or go to multimc.org and this is what shows up here. You're going to go ahead and download for your version that you have. I'm currently running Windows, so we'll download for Windows. It's not very big, so it shouldn't take too awful long. Now it is a our zip file, so you will need something to unzip that file. I use WinRAR. Okay, and then you're going to go ahead and extract the MultiMC folder to wherever you want to put it. Okay, then you're going to want to download the Pixelmon mod, which is at pixelmonmod.com. Once you get there, you can hit the download section. And we're currently going to be using 3.4 for 1710. Go ahead and download that. And just wait for the ad focus to go through. Hit skip. And of course, you got to wait for more time. And download Pixelmon 3.4. 185 megabytes. So, depending on your uh, internet speeds, might take a little bit. Of course, it's going to say it could harm your computer, but just go ahead and keep it. My internet is telling me roughly about a minute. Now, since I've already downloaded this, I'm going to go ahead and cancel it. But you're going to want to download that. So now you can go to your multi MC and of course you'll have the application here. I recommend making a shortcut to your desktop so you can go right click send to desktop create shortcut which I've already done before. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this one. My multi MC and my Minecraft shortcuts are already there. And you're going to go ahead and open MultiMC. And then as you can see here, I've already got mine set up. So how you set this up is pretty easy. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to add a new instance. And the version we are currently running is 1.7, or, yep, 1.7.10 regular release. You can name it whatever you want, or just leave it 1710. Okay. Now you're going to click on it once, and you're going to edit the instance. Now this is so you can load the mods and whatnot. So uh, you're going to want to install Forge and the newest version. Okay. Forge is installed. Go to your loader mod add and from here you're going to want to go to the location to where Pixelmon was downloaded. Mine's in my downloads folder. And it comes as an executable jar. You're going to want your 3.40 universal version. There it is. Okay. Now for this you're also going to need to add your Mojang account which you'll go manage accounts or I believe it says add when you first pop on you're going to want to add an account <coughs> your Mojang email address and your password if you do not have it you will need to get the cracked version can be found ah here it is hackphoenix.com which all these I will have links to in the description through YouTube and as it says here download file your computer do the same thing 
you can enter any nickname and password and log in and you'll be able to play um, again if you have a Mojang account you can just use the regular multimc.org and it'll be fine as you can see mine's already added now with this it's ready to go so we'll go ahead and hit play as you can see it'll have a little console that pops up does its thing now from here you can actually check the logs and all that what's going on if your game crashes or something like that something's not right you'll be able to tell from that from here I will tell you it does take a little bit for it to load as you can see it says not responding it is loading it just takes a little bit um, as you can see there you go and here we are uh, from here you can go to multiplayer you're going to want to add in the server put the IP which will also be in the description below uh, and uh, once you're done there you'll be able to play on our Pixelmon server well, that's it for that uh, please leave a like and uh, any questions or comments please add them and for now take care